and we're live again. Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, hoping you've had a great week. Uh, it is, it's a really great day today. It's kind of cloudy here in Napa, Idaho, but we're, uh, it's a lot warmer than it would look like just kind of looking out the windows, uh, about 86 degrees at the moment. So uh, I really like when you can get out and just enjoy the, you know, some fresh air and enjoy, you know, getting out of the house because let's face it, uh, when we're stuck in our houses, there's a lot of like, it's, it's not a good thing for us to be stuck in our homes, uh, especially with the way that a lot of homes have been built. Uh, so with that said, uh, yeah, I've been outside. Uh, we're getting the garden going at our home. I'm trying to do a, we're, we're still learning. So it's a really tiny one, but hey, we've got uh, a couple tomato plants. So things are growing there and it's looking really good. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is TJ and I am the chief cleaning officer here at Meticulous Man Services. And uh, for those of you who have been watching these videos, you will uh, notice that uh, I, I actually got my hair cut. Yay! Uh, how many of everybody else out there is so excited because uh, you're able to actually get your hair cut? Uh, last time I was able to have that done was back at the end of January. And, you know, I thought that I had more time and I would be able to go ahead and get my hair cut again. Well, Corona destroyed that one. So here we are uh, in the beginning of June and I finally got my hair cut again and, and, I, and I like it. And uh, I was able to get the beard kind of, you know, cleaned up and everything. Uh, so yeah, so kudos for everybody. In fact, actually, I wanted to say um, a big shout out to uh, Paul Mitchell, the school here in Napa, and specifically Saul. Uh, he was a gentleman who did my hair. It took him a while, and he was, you know, very apologetic about it because it was, uh, took so long. But I honestly, I I totally knew that. Uh, <clears throat> when, sorry. <clears throat> Okay, talking and having the throat, that's not good. Anyway, um, I, I just totally knew that it was going to take longer than uh, some people might expect just because I have so much hair. I've been called a Chia pet before, and I, I think they were right. But anyway, so I just want to give a quick shout out. Um, maybe he's listening, maybe he's not or watching or whatever, and uh, just really appreciated the work, and it feels great. So, so thank you. Uh, today, I wanted to go ahead and talk about the role of a professional house cleaning technician and what that means for you and why I recommend no matter where you may be that you look for a company, a professional house cleaning service that provides great training for their people, that is always looking to increase their knowledge and grow. <clears throat> and the reason for it is the first role of a professional house cleaning technician is to be a we are in the healthcare industry, in essence. Uh, we help out with the health and the sanitation and the overall environment within the home. And that, that's what a professional house cleaning technician does. And what that means is our role is not simply to come in and clean. Our role is to provide hygienic cleaning. And what that means is that when we go into a home, when your professional house cleaning technician comes into your home, they're looking at everything as kind of like a, 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 a micro level, you know, at a high level area. And they're just kind of looking at what's going on. And our goal is to make sure that we remove enough of the germs, the bacteria, the viruses, the, the dirt, the soil, if you will, uh, to provide a safe environment. Our goal is never to... Uh, remove everything 100%. We're not into sterilization. Uh, the other thing is we're not into uh, restoration. Uh, that's not the role of a ho professional house cleaning technician. The role of your cleaning technician that comes to your home is really to first and foremost, uh, make sure that we are protecting your health by reducing the number of germs and bacteria. And so that's what we, we look for. Uh, the second is to make sure that we are taking care of and protecting the contents of your home. So that can be the surfaces, that can be your items that you have, and, and to a large degree, it's you know, protecting those who live there. Because without a professional house cleaning technician that knows what they're doing and can do, there's a lot of work that goes into this, uh, it puts a lot of more on your plate 
as a customer to make sure that these things are being done. And to be honest, a lot of us, even me, you know, I run this cleaning business. Uh, sometimes our home is not uh, not what you would think it would be with uh, somebody that runs one. Uh, so I definitely understand the importance of it. I also know that it's not always easy to do on your own. And that's why, that's where we come in. So we want to make sure we're doing that. And this is what you want to look for when you're trying to find a uh, professional house cleaning service. You know, how do they look at that? How do they view their job? Do they view what they're doing as just drudgery, you know, kind of Cinderella, hey, go clean this, and yes, I'll do it? Or are they looking at it as though I am a health cleaning professional? My job is to provide a healthy, clean environment for you as a customer and to make sure that I am taking care of your, your belongings that are inside that home. So that's kind of a... a a good way to look at it and, and understand this is what we're doing. This is why we do it. The other thing is, is that the role of a, a professional house cleaning technician is to evaluate and understand the materials and surfaces within your home. Uh, one of the things that I, I've seen is that a lot of people will take one product and they'll try to use it everywhere. And sometimes there's a lot of things out there that can actually be used on multiple surfaces. But if you don't understand things like pH balance and, and what does that mean? And the difference is when you go down the, you know, the, the acid side of the pH scale, which is going from around seven down to zero, which is very, uh, very acidic. And then you're going on the other side, which is your alkalines or your base. And that gets really, uh, really caustic. So if you don't understand this and how things uh, interact with each other, you're more prone to cause damage to a surface and not really understand why. Uh, one of the, the biggest things that I've heard so much is people using vinegar for cleaning. Uh, vinegar is not a cleaner. Uh, it can be used as uh, a, a disinfectant. Uh, you can be used as an antiseptic so it, because it's an acid and it happens to be able to do these things, but it doesn't really clean. Same thing goes for bleach. Bleach, the chemical properties of it, uh, it's not a cleaner in the essence of what we would consider a cleaner, which is something designed to help uh, remove uh, the dirt and the bacteria stuff. Um, I'll talk about that maybe another time, but just to say that these two things that people use so much of don't do things the way that they think they do. And so... What you get is people overusing these, uh, using them improperly, and a lot of time it's not something that you know you use once and oh no, it's 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 damaged something. Uh, it's it's a long term, over and over again process. And so uh, your professional house cleaning technicians, what we are trying to do is understand and learn the science of cleaning, because certain chemicals react with others and create different outcomes. And uh, one of the I really liked when I was in school, chemistry was always fun because you could take certain things and mix them together and they maintain their properties even though they were mixed uh, and you couldn't pull them apart but that they were there was no chemical change and then other ones created a completely new chemical um, one basic way to look at this is uh, it's when you're like making pancakes and you've got your your flour and you got your eggs and you mix it all up so that's uh it becomes your batter but it has not changed chemically it's bonded but it's not changed chemically uh, one that is a chemical change is what a lot of people like to put on their food, salt, uh, it's sodium chloride. And, uh, so when these things bond, they totally change the chemistry makeup because sodium on one side is deadly to us. It's toxic. And so is chlorine. And yet these two toxic things that if we have them ingested individually are going to cause, they're going to kill you. And depending on the dosage, uh, you put them together and it makes your food taste really good. Uh, so that's just kind of an example of why it's important for, and that's what the, I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm going on the top of my words. That is the importance and the role of a house cleaning technician is to learn and understand these things so that when they come into your home, they are protecting your contents in, in the surfaces and the things that you've put lots of time and money into. Uh, so that's definitely an important thing. And you want to make sure that you've got somebody that's coming in that that's, you know, the, whether it's an individual or the company, that that's important to them. They don't go, oh, my mom, my grandmother used to use this. It's okay to use on that. And they have no clue what they're doing. 
Uh, it's the same thing as, you know, a, a good house cleaning technician will let you know that uh, clean does not have a smell. Uh, let's see, sometimes a lot of people associate shiny with being clean. And let's just take floors, for example. Uh, the reason your floors might be shiny is because of the way the dirt has been rubbed into the floor and it's kind of that slick area. It could also be uh, the fact that there's been oils and grease that have been spilled and it just kind of got, you know, buffed out and, and it gives it that shiny look. It doesn't always mean it's actually clean. And a good house cleaning technician will be able to understand this. There's just, there's just so many different surfaces out there that respond differently. Uh, some are very adverse to your acids. Some are very adverse to your bases. And we actually, you know, you never want to mix those. And for good reasons, because they create really bad gases, and which is, uh, depending on the situation where you're at, if you don't have really, really good ventilation, uh, you may not make it out of there before you can actually get to a well-ventilated area. Uh, the other thing is, is we, unlike a lot of people, and, and I've been guilty of this in the past, uh, it's been owning a cleaning business that's actually helped me on this one, but our job is to make sure that we're looking at the labels of the products we're using, no matter what it is, and we're understanding the, they call them the SDS uh, sheets, safety data sheets, and understanding what this product does um, how to take care of things, you know, for first aid, what is the proper uh, protective equipment that we need to wear, uh, what are the things we need to be uh, knowledgeable about in the use of this product. And so many times individuals will, you'll go to the store, you'll grab something off the shelf and, oh, hey, it says it does X, you know. And so you just use it, but you don't really look at the, the, the labels with, you know, and, and you take that risk on, you know, and, and all of us do that. And I've done that. But the point of the role of a house cleaning technician, a professional house cleaning technician, is that they learn and understand the correct way to use that based upon the label, and they don't deviate from that. And that protects you as a customer because if if they do, then there's a lot better. You know, the, their insurance company will will take care of that and help as long as they if there's any damage and they did it the way they were supposed to. Uh, their insurance company will help take care of that. If they don't, and they're just kind of going willy-nilly and just, oh, hey, this looks good, then if something happens, one, if they've got insurance, which hopefully they do, uh, the insurance company will decline it, which means they're going to have to try to pay for it out of pocket, and they may not have the funds to cover it. And even if you take them to small claims court, you know, that's a... As for somebody that's, that's a crap shoot, you know, I mean, you may or may not get your funds. And so you really want to have a, a reputable uh, house cleaning company that provides great training for their house cleaning technicians and takes that responsibility on so that you don't have to. Uh, the other thing is, is the role of a, uh, the role of a professional house cleaning technician is to make sure they understand the differences between things like, you know, what what is what does cleaning mean? Uh, what does sanitizing mean? What does disinfecting mean? What it does sanitizing mean? What are these, and, and how do we best provide the correct one, the correct thing we need to do uh, to provide, make sure that we are giving you a healthy environment and making sure we're protecting your stuff. Um, one of the things that it, you want to be understanding of is that a lot of, in fact, all disinfectants are regulated uh, by the FDA and they're, no, I may be wrong on the FDA, sorry about that, uh, but they're regulated uh, with the EPA, there we go, and they are pesticides and they are taken care of and classified this way. Uh, so some are, some are safe around, you know, food and animals and pets, some are not. And your, the role that we play as house cleaning technicians, we want to know which is what. And so you get people that will go ahead and start spraying it everywhere. And the ones that are not safe on food, uh, they require you to go back and clean them with uh, portable water so that it actually removes it because you, you've got the chemical on there, the pesticide, and then you also have like the decaying bacteria that it's killed. And you need to remove all that because you don't want to take that and then cook on it and then put it in your body. 
And this is part of protecting your health. Uh, not everybody thinks about these things because like most things, like, you know, the, the, the coronavirus here, it's, we don't see it. And if it's something so small that we can't see, we tend to ignore it or downplay it or not think much of it until all of a sudden we, you know, eat something and we're getting sick. So that's kind of how that plays in there. Uh, the other thing is, and I think this is really, to me, one of the most important parts as a role for a professional house cleaning uh, technician. We have a unique position when we come into your home. My personal opinion is, is that we get to know people on a much personal level than most anybody else you interact with even more so than the plumber who comes in and takes care of your pipes. Your house cleaner comes in on a regular basis. They see everything because let's face it. Most people don't pick up everything and put stuff away and try to, you know, uh, put on their best face. It, it's kind of hard to do that when you have a house cleaning service and then they're coming in your home. So we're privileged. We're privy and we have the privilege of learning more intimate details about a person's life. Uh, that's why um, privacy is a very important thing to us. Uh, we don't share, you know, what we find in your home, the items. We don't start talking about some of your stuff. You know, we don't we don't share those kind of things. Uh, you, you know, if we know that you're sick or that there's just something going on in your life, we're not going to start talking about that to the next person we talk, even if they're your neighbor, unless you have given us permission to do so. Uh, what we find in your house outside of being illegal, I mean, you know, if, you, if you're, you know, there's a lot of crazy stuff out there, but if we find something in your home that is putting somebody else in danger, obviously we have an obligation to make sure that that is uh, made known. But outside of that, we value your privacy and we want to protect that. And that's important to us because we know things that, you know, you won't even tell your doctor. OK, uh, there's a lot of people that will just make up stuff when the doc doctor asks them about what's going on. But when you have somebody that's coming into your home, it's hard to hide these things. And so first and foremost, our role is to protect, like I said, your health, the health of your home, uh, protect your contents and protect your privacy. And that's what we want to make sure we're doing. The other role is that we realize we're not just coming in to clean your home we're interacting with and again this kind of goes your privacy we're interacting with parts of your life that go beyond price uh, they have no monetary value in the sense of it would be impossible to replace because some of these items there's so many memories that built into them uh, you know there's family members you know great grandparents you know aunts children uh, people who've uh, passed away, you know, I mean, there's things in my home that remind me of my mom, you know, and she passed away last year and I would be, I don't want to say distraught, but I would, it'd feel like a part of me went away or was damaged if those things that are important to me that remind me of her, if those were damaged. And so, the role of, of a professional house cleaning technician is to understand those items that have intrinsic value to you as a customer so that we can protect those memories, protect those items and do what we can to, to, to protect those. Really, there's not really other way to say that, but to make sure we are looking out for things that are valuable to you, not just simply taking care of your health and the items within your home, but making sure we're not causing uh, undue damage and that we're being respectful of the space that you have graciously led us into. So that's kind of what I want to talk about today. And I just wanted to put that out there because I know that there's sometimes there's people that think, oh, well, let me just grab a cloth and a mop and we, here we go. And they don't really give much of a thought into the, the science, the role that they play in protecting your health, protecting your environment. They don't really give much concern to your privacy or the fact that you have things in your home that are of irreplaceable value, uh, not because of the item itself, but because of what that item means to you. 
And so here at Meticulous Math Services, my goal is to make sure that when we send somebody out, that one, they are trained in these areas, that they understand these things, and that above all, above all, they treat you special because you are. And they treat your possessions that way because it matters to you. And so with that said, I hope this is helpful. I hope this is uh, insightful and educational and all that good stuff. If you happen to have a question that you would love for me to answer, I would love to answer it for you. Uh, go ahead and uh, leave your, your comments, your questions, everything down there in the comments section. I would love to read those. Uh, we hope that you have a great weekend. Uh, we'll see you here next week. Uh, same time kind of thing, same place, uh, same bat channel, those of you that understand that one. And uh, we hope you take care and have a wonderful weekend.